episode, we are building a turbo manifold. Step one, always start with mounting the turbo. When planning the routing, you know it's hard to film, um, you always want to go after the header that's going to be the most difficult to build, which will be this one. You'll have to loop down and around into the turbine side. I'm going to try and keep them all as equal as possible. Another thing to think about when mounting your turbo is to make sure that your wastegate has really good priority. This manifold's going to come up from the bottom and this will come off at, I don't know, 70-ish degree angle. As if this wasn't going to be difficult enough, I'm going to be adding a fresh air anti-leg or a turbo smart 40 mil valve that'll get placed somewhere down here, I hope. <laughs> This is with the whole assembly tacked together. You can see the wastegate has pretty solid priority coming off the collector. And then on the other side, you have the fresh air anti leg. So this is a four to two to one. So if or two, these two connect back there. Thumbs up to here, right before the wastegate. Should be pretty solid priority, comes out at a decent angle. And then over here, we have the fresh air anti leg that's coming up. So, we will see how it works. So, we, here we have the manifold, it's all tacked together. I'm just gonna start going through, breaking off one piece, cleaning it all up then start welding it. I'll have to notch all of the miters in um, to get those all welded out. I skipped the building process. One, it's in the back of the motor, crammed up against the firewall, so it's really hard to see. Uh, two, it's just a lot of cutting, grinding, trimming, fitting, repeat over and over and over again until you kind of get to this. So now that everything's broken apart, you can see this is where one tube merges. So I'm gonna go through and cut that out. This one, I've got another tube merging, wastegate, anti-lag, and so on. Uh, once I get all those cut out and fitting somewhat well, I will go through and I will clean and polish everything inside and out and get it ready for welding. Another good tech tip here, uh, you can see I left some material, I didn't get all the way to the line. That's just because when I go to weld some of these, right, obviously there's a few joints here, it's going to want to tweak and move just a little bit. Um, so that way, you know, when I come back, you know, I can kind of cut it to fit and grind it so it's perfect. So you don't want to go too crazy and then weld it and then not have it fit. All right, I've got everything prepped and clean, so now it's just time to start back purging and welding. Of the four runners, so keep on burning. 
So I have this first runner tacked back on. I went to go check and verify that the turbo and everything still lines up where I wanted to. So this is where I was saying about keeping these holes a little small until everything else is welded and you can get uh, to it. So let's see. So we'll have this guy over here. So now we can go and trim to make sure. All right, so it took a little while, but as you can see, you know, it fits up relatively well. Another big thing to always look out for when building manifolds is to always think ahead, right? So I could get this piece fit in there, and get it all cleaned up, but then I'm never gonna be able to get a weld down back in there. So what I'm gonna do is I'll uh, tape up these ports and I'll purge in and then I'll weld up this top side. I'll weld here and maybe a little bit over here. I don't wanna go too crazy because I don't want it to, to move a bunch, but just enough so that I don't get myself caught into a situation where there's an area that I can't weld. So now we'll just repeat the steps for the next one. Uh, go here, into here. So we'll get that nice and cleaned up. But again, thinking ahead, looking here, you know, it's gonna be really hard to weld. Underneath there, so I'm gonna get this runner fitting really nice, just put a couple tacks on it, and then I'll come over to this runner, get this one fitting nice, and I'll weld these two together or at least the underside, and then I'll jump back over to here and get that all welded out. So now we have our two sections fully welded minus what's on the flange. Um, so all the hard to reach spots are gonna all be welded. Um, everything's turning out good. Backside of all of this. So now continue on to the puzzle. And, um, Install this, get that, you know, fitting just right. Tack it onto the flange and then um, go ahead and burn this into what will become the collector. And then it's just add the waste gates and fresh air and I like that. But this manifold is the same as the rest. Now just clean and fit the wastegate tube and the fresh air anti leg uh, to the manifold. Cover everything up to back purge it and weld it. Here's the finished turbo kit, all welded, mocked up, the assembly. So now it's time to make the downpipe and the wastegate tube. 